Coach, so far, how do you think the installation process is going? It's been good. You know, the guys are really uh, taking a hold of it. Um, the process leading up to these first few practices, um, I think the guys are preparing well. They're understanding what's asked of them, uh, you know, from a preparation standpoint and, and installation standpoint, because it's uh, it's different. You know, it's a different operation, and, and we're using you know more shifts and motions. There's more terminology to it, and, and so uh, it, it's difficult. It's a difficult uh, deal. So, but they're handling it well. They're staying positive. There's good urgency. There's going to be mistakes, and we know that going in, you know, as coaches. But trying to limit those mistakes and and, uh, and really asking them to look back at a practice and go, all right, what what happened? What went wrong? And then let's let's fix it, or how can I prepare better? I know you wanted to really incorporate the tight end position uh, more and more uh, compared to years uh, past, but really not having the numbers right now. How much of a challenge is it? I know the cavalry is coming in full camp, but right now, how are you dealing with that aspect? Sure, it's a challenge, and um, you know those guys are getting a lot of reps. I mean, that's the good <laughs> thing. You know, Nolan and, and those guys are you know getting reps, and they're, uh, they're they're succeeding and they're failing, and they're you know going through that whole process of seeing signals and, and working a new operation, and um, you know. But then you're diving into you know the, the depth is being very limited. So I'm um, excited to get some of those guys here in the fall and, and be able to add to that mix. Um, but it will limit us through spring. The running back group, uh, very, very talented, but very, very inexperienced. Uh, just in your coaching career, have you ever entered a situation with so much inexperience at such an important position? I think in the running back position, you know, those guys, being young, they're hungry, but they're both of those guys are um, guys that can step in and, and play right away. I mean, they're, they're both smart. They're learning it quickly. Um, you know, and physically, I don't see there's going to be any issue with them jumping into a game and, and rolling. You know, once it's all said and done, once we get through spring, once we get through, you know, the, the process uh, in the off season through summer, and then they'll, they'll be rolling. So I don't think there's going to be any issues. Do they look more prepared than usual uh, freshmen to see when they get in the The running backs? Yeah. Like I said, I mean, they prepare really well. They're both very headsy and, and uh, understand the game of football um, and the urgency for. You know, a lot of their off time is is all in the meeting room, you know. And, and when I see them in the hall, you know, they're they're talking about football and talking about plays and you know, what about this? Or what if we get this? You know, I mean, they're they're all football all the time, and that's what you love to see, you know, as a coach. Those guys that care about the game, they care about um, getting better, and, and uh, I think they're just going to keep getting better and better every day. Just that's uh, just how guys are getting lined up on their spots, running the right routes that they need to run and all that stuff. Right now, there's a lot of, you know, a little bit of that paralysis, you know, trying to see signals and they're uh, trying to get it right and they're, you know, there's a lot of tightness and you can feel it out there. You know, once they get the, the flow and uh, understand the signals, it's going to be a lot more smooth. They're going to get to their spots, but I, I'm totally with you on that. Yeah, that, there's a lot of that. Is that pretty normal just for so many new concepts and language and all that stuff. And how does that compare to other situations that you've been in? It's normal. Um, there's going to be that break-in process uh, and getting used to an operation, and that's going to be the challenge that for us, you know, as coaches, to challenge them and to, all right, now let's, we've been through a few practices now, relax, and let's just go play football. All right, you, you guys know the signals. Let's just get out there and go play football, settle down a little bit, and, and play a lot faster. Impression of Dean Davis so far. We've had one practice with him so far, but he's uh, one of those guys that um, he can make all the throws. He's obviously very athletic. He's uh, that even keel all the way through, and you know whether it's you know, those highs and lows in practice, and, um, he's very coachable, and uh, you know, he's got the ability to, to do anything out there. It's very impressive. Did he do it at Dean's day that you didn't expect? Um, I. What I, what I really notice with him is his ability to make any throw, and especially throw the deep ball. He throws the deep ball probably better than any quarterback I've seen. Um, and just with the air and the touch, and it just has some natural uh, throwing ability. You know, even when his feet may be off a little bit, you know, there's some mechanical things we're going to work with him, but um, he can make throws from all different angles, and, and that's what impresses me the most, his deep ball and the, the ability to make all the throws. Well, 
you know, I've had influences from a lot of different coaches. You know, starting with my dad was a high school head coach and a longtime head coach. Uh, so it started there. He was very detail oriented and very he knew the way he wanted things. Um, I was with Coach Baldwin for a long time at Eastern Washington, and um, you know, different style of offense, but still, you know, a lot to it, a lot, a lot of intricacies. You know, and then it really took it to a new level with Boise, the Boise offense, and Coach Harson. And the attention to detail is at an all-time high, you know. There, and um, a lot of goes, a lot goes into a play um, from a coach's standpoint. And so we got to be very detailed with, you know, the shifts and motions, where you get into, the timing of the cadence, the you know, timing motions. And there's, there's a lot to it. And so, um, you don't have enough time as a coach. You know, you, you got to use your time wisely in those meetings. And there's only so much time you can use. So. Um, you've got to be very clear and concise and take the gray out. With that tight end room, what's your early sense on how active they in the receiving game? The tight end room? Yeah. Um, you know, they, they've got different, um, there's different styles in that room right now. You know, and in case Hatch and that fullback slash tight end, you know, has got some different things that he can do, especially in the run game, and, you know, leak him out from the flats and can do some things there. You know, not going to be a big vertical stretch for us, but, um, you know, can, can give us that, that physical nature definitely in the run game. Um, you know, still working with you know, Nolan and trying to figure him out a little bit. Um, he's a big, big tight end, and I think he can be very good in the run game. And then also that, that big target, you know, down the middle and seams and drags and, and things like that. But still trying to get a feel for him. And then, you know, Curtis is... He's got good athleticism, good hands. Um, you know, he's he's surprised me in the fact that he's really um, put forth a ton of effort and urgency in learning it. And um, I think he's he's coming along real well. It was you know, too bad the ankle history. Brandon Pierce, uh, pretty quick kid. It, 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 it was a chance to play last year, undersized, just at this level. What early thoughts about him? He made a lot of catches. Like He's got good speed. He can roll. <laughs> he's he's a dynamic guy, and he's tough to cover. So if you know, get those teams and man coverage. You know, he, he can be a problem. Um, you know, it's just finding what how he can be a part of the offense um, with using his you know speed and his athleticism, and you know, not trying to give him too much. But hey, here's your role, and you can be really good at it. Uh, I think he's he's definitely building that that role and, and trying to build trust with the coaches.